Oh, hey guys, just doing my red light therapy here with red light and near infrared. So I want to take a moment, kind of pause my little treatment there and tell you a little bit about red light therapy. Now, red light therapy is really, really powerful for your mitochondria, for your coll the collagen in your skin, for healing deep joint and tissue repair, right? So like muscle injuries, joints, things like that. Really, really great for getting in there and stimulating it. So basically it utilizes a principle called photobiomodulation. If you've been following me for any period of time, you know that I look at light as just as important as nutrition. You know, there's a great quote that says, malillumination or bad um, consumption of light, right? Consumption of poor light. Malillumination is as bad for the body as malnutrition is. So if we're not getting the right forms of light into our body, then actually it's kind of like getting being vitamin D deficient or vitamin B12 or something like that. Now our ancestors actually would be out typically, you know, throughout the day and in particular in the morning and at night. And so there's different spectrums of light that come from the sun. A couple of those spectrums are your near infrared as well as your red light. Like for example, sunrise, sunset, you've got a lot of red light there. And these have incredible therapeutic potential. So that concept of photobiomodulation, actually what that means is utilizing light to stimulate and affect our biology, to stimulate energy production from our mitochondria, to stimulate tissue healing and repair. This is all in this kind of lumped into this category of photobiomodulation. And actually red light therapy was originally used on plants by biologists back in the 1990s because it stimulated photosynthesis. So the plants would actually start to produce, you know, their own energy through the stimulation of, of red light therapy. And so when we actually apply red light therapy, the red light hits more of the surface of our body. It's really good for skin, for collagen production, for anti-aging, for helping with like different skin issues like eczema or acne or psoriasis or wrinkles on your skin. So it's really good for regenerating the collagen in your skin. So if you wanna have great, beautiful skin that's healthy, shining red light therapy on it is really powerful. And what you wanna do is basically get about four to six inches from it. So this is a full body Mito Red right here. And uh, if you want to win one of these, I actually have a contest going on with Mito Red, and they're giving away one of these uh, Mito Reds right here to one of my followers. So check the link below the video and you can enter into that, learn more about uh, red light therapy and win one of these devices. We've given away three so far, so you may be the next winner. Now, what I was saying was the red light, you want to be about four to six inches away. So you can get smaller units than this, and, and let's say you're, you've got like a specific skin issue, you can just kind of shine the smaller unit on it, or you can get a larger full body one like this and kind of stand right in front of it. And the red light, again, will stimulate collagen production. Actually, the research is coming out showing it's actually really good for your eyes. So actually utilizing it can help prevent and possibly even heal things like macular degeneration, right? So really powerful, even though you think that the light is really strong and, and too strong for your eyes. You know, just like anything kind of like exercise, you want to work your way up. Now, especially if you're trying to treat a specific condition, getting that extra length of time, 10 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes for that specific body part will give you the best therapeutic uh, application for it. But again, you want to work your way up just like exercise. You don't want to do too much too quickly or you can uh, cause more damage, right? So you kind of work your way up, making sure your body's tolerating it, adapting to it, because it is what we call a hormetic stressor. And that means it's a stressor on the body, but you act, it actually forces adaptation. Your body adapts and it gets stronger. It's able to repair itself more effectively and it is able to heal better. And so red light therapy, again, is, is more of the surface. Now this also has near infrared, right? So near infrared is another one of the um, the, 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 the types of light waves that come from, from the sun. And near infrared is not, uh, you can't see it, right? So it's invisible to the naked eye and it penetrates deeper into the body, right? So it gets into the joints, stimulates joint mitochondria, stimulates your joint healing, um, also stimulates nitric oxide production, which enhances circulation throughout your body. So you're getting better circulation, better oxygenation, 
that means you're going to heal better. So if you're exercising intensely, you don't want to have a lot of soreness, you're going to heal faster. If you're an athlete, um, it's going to help you be able to perform better and be able to recover from you know, specific sport, sporting events and, and different trainings that you're doing. So a lot of benefit there. People that have chronic pain see really good results with near infrared, right? So shining the near infrared or being in like a near infrared sauna or something like that. Um, they're going to see good results with that because again, they're getting better circulation in those areas. Also really good for the immune system, right? Because near infrared will, uh, will also start to activate some heat shock proteins, which basically are, are going to help you with uh, shutting down viral replication. Uh, so limiting viral activity in your body, bacterial activity. So a lot of good benefits for the immune system. This also is really good for your circadian rhythm and helping you install good sleep habits. So one of the best things you can do for good sleep is watch the sunrise in the morning and watch the sunset at night. You know, there's like an ancient proverb that talks about that. And really the reason there's actually a lot of scientific rationale for it, and that's because of the red light and the near infrared, which are at its peak, you know, in the morning and also at night before you go to bed. So you're going to get the therapeutic benefits there. So that's really good. Now, right here, as I'm doing this video, it's December in Georgia. It's like rainy, over, you know, overcast, it's been cold out. So I'm not getting much sun exposure this time of year. So this is when I really kick in. I, I use this throughout the year, but especially in the winter time, so good for the circadian rhythm, so good for, um, for energy, mitochondrial health, all those things, brain health. Uh, just a lot of great benefits from that perspective. Really good for preventing uh, seasonal uh, affective disorder, SAD, right? So a lot of people get depressed in the winter time. Having a good device like this will help prevent that. So anyways, my favorite brand is Mito Red, okay? And uh, there's a link that will help you, give you a, a great discount offer if you wanna purchase it, but also enter you in a contest to win one of these as well. So check out the link and hopefully you're the winner. So if you're going to be the winner, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section below. Perhaps that may help you win. Uh, be sure to like our channel, subscribe to our channel, and uh, share this video with anybody you know and you care about. We'll see you on a future video.